everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Choth. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using colored pencils and we're going to be learning some different techniques with colored pencils. So I know all you guys know how to just color in an area in one solid color, but we're going to be going over different ways that we can use the same colored pencil in multiple different ways. So we know about pointillism, we know about stippling, we know about scrubbling. We've done those in some other videos with some other pencils and markers. But there are some more techniques that you can use and color pencils can open up a whole new world of drawing options for you. So go grab your color pencils and a sheet of paper and we'll get started. So the first thing we do, we have our color pencils. You can pick any color you want for these techniques because when you redo it later, you'll redo it in whatever drawing you're creating. So we're just going to think about lots of different techniques. Now, I know we've talked about some of these before, but we'll go over them just as review. So we could have hatching, which you can always pick a shape and fill in the shape with these techniques. You could do a circle, you could do a square, you could use a ruler. Um, but I can you can also trace something you have around you. So I'm going to do my first one in a rectangle. And I'm going to do hatching. So hatching means lines going in one direction. And the closer together they are, the darker it's going to look. You can also press harder with your pencil. You can make your lines thinner or thicker. There's lots of different ways that you can fill in the space. You could also introduce other colors to your hatching. And if it was cross hatching, you would just add lines the other way. And the lines can start to go on top of each other. They can be going on top of each other, some thicker, some pressing harder, some thinner. You also don't have to be careful. They don't have to go the whole way down. You can do lines that are shorter. You can do lines that are longer. So I can just fill up the whole space with one pencil. Or I could go introduce a darker color if I wanted to and have lines going the same direction. Remember, if the lines cross, that is cross hatching. So there is our first technique. Our next technique is a little on the obvious side. That is just outlining or contouring, which means that we are outlining whatever we're drawing and we are making that outline darker or it can even be where you don't even fill in the rest. So we really outline, make our area dark around the edge with the same color. And now you're going to shade it in, pressing lighter with the same color. So you don't need multiple colors. You don't need to outline in black. You can just shade it in with the same pencil. I really like this way of doing it. When I am making a drawing, I like using the same color for multiple different areas. You can even start to press a little bit darker if you want it as you go. I'm going to make it darker on the right side of my circle, oval, rectangle, whatever the shape is. And I'm moving my pencil in a round circular motion. So I'm not getting the marks of my pencil left behind on the page. I'm going to come here and give it another coat to make it even darker on this edge. And you can see we kind of have three shades, a lighter, a middle tone, and a darker. And we can even go just darker yet by pressing even harder and giving it another coat. 
So there we go, there's another technique. And this is also called tonal shading, meaning we have it darker, lighter, lighter, lighter. That's tonal. So now we can go ahead, trace our shape again. And you could change up your shape if you want to. We're just playing around with the different techniques. And we could do a two color blending. So this is where I am going to introduce another color. And we're going to kind of do our pencil to the side. I love putting my pencil to the side to get this nice soft coloring. And I'm going around in circular motions. I'm going to have my blue over here. I think I'll have a on a red down here. And I'm going to have them kind of meet in the middle. And we're going to make them gradually come to each other. And this can work with any colors. It doesn't have to be two primary colors. I think it kind of looks like that Pepsi logo. And now back in with the red. And you can see how they're starting to come together and make a purple. I'm going to make back here even darker. And I'm just pressing harder, giving it more layers. The whole goal is we want it to gently turn from one color to the next. And you can keep going till you're happy with it. And let's do one more. There are so many different ways to use colored pencils. This is just cracking the circuit surface. But remember, you can use these techniques in any of your drawings that you do. So our next one is actually going to be introducing a marker with your colored pencils. So I'm just going to put a yellow coat and this can be any color marker but with a lighter color we're really going to see the effect that the color pencil has on top. I'm just outlining and now filling in the whole thing. And you could do one of these other techniques with your markers and then do color pencil on top, but it's really fun to do some mixed media. So there we go, I gave it a nice coat of marker. And now I'm gonna go on top, it could be any shade. And I'm gonna try to make it look darker over here and lighter over here. So we're just gonna be adding, you can see how my color pencil looks different 
on top of the marker. It's turning green almost immediately because it's blue and yellow makes green. And because the marker is still wet while I'm drawing with the color pencil, it's really starting to blend. And again, you can press even harder back here. The harder you press, the darker it is. You see, look at that, it's like a really dark green where I'm pressing really hard. And you wouldn't have gotten this effect without the marker underneath. So, this so there's four different techniques with colored pencils. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see some more techniques with colored pencils. There are so many out there. So I hope you had fun learning about the different type of ways you can use colored pencil. So from our uh, straight lines or hatching, and remember if you go the other direction is cross hatching, from our blending and doing a slow ombre to a lighter color, or from our blending of two colors using the side of our pencil and pressing harder where we want it darker, lighter where we want it lighter. And then remember you also mix media where we're doing marker with colored pencil on top. So remember, put it in the comments below, do you wanna see more ways you can use your colored pencils or maybe there's other supplies at home that you're kind of bored with? Let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video on how we can kind of make those a little more exciting again. So I hope you have fun with this, give it a thumbs up. And remember, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I hope you're already subscribed, but if you're not, hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I post a new video. Bye friends.